When you want a heavy bass line, do you find yourself clicking through your sounds trying to find something that makes your bass heavy? Well, sounds don't make bass lines heavy, the notes do. So in this video, you'll learn what notes to use to make your bass lines heavy, regardless of the sounds you're using. But first, Tay. Revolutionary Music Makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. This channel helps you make great music that stands out so you can move and grow your audience. And just a quick heads up, we've got an exciting announcement coming at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Alright, it's time to open your door to Hack Music Theory. The Theory. The legendary London grime producer and MC, Skepta, just dropped his new single, Wish You Were Here. This track is the epitome of London's grime sound, with its string arpeggios, dissonant bass, and syncopated drums. However, Skepta has a secret scale up his sleeve, mm -hmm. which takes this tune to the next level. Now, it's no secret that grime producers love the Phrygian mode for its flat 2. For example, if you're an A Phrygian, the flat 2 is B flat. And if you're familiar with modes, you'll know that Phrygian is minor. And if you're not familiar with modes, just keep watching because we will explain Phrygian in a minute. So, here's where the grime veteran kicks things up. Instead of playing the flat 3, he plays the 3. Thereby turning Phrygian into Phrygian dominant, aka Phrygian major, which is a very rare scale. And please note, there are many different and better names for this scale, but Phrygian dominant is probably the most common name for it in the West. And finally, as if a rare scale wasn't enough, Skepta throws in another note that isn't even in Phrygian, or Phrygian dominant, the 7. By the way, if you're new to the concept of musical spelling, which is when we assign numbers to notes, like the 7 we were just talking about, then read the fourth hack in our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords. And if you're new to the concept of flat numbers, like the flat 3 we were just talking about, then read the eighth hack in the book, which you can download right now at hackmusictheory.com. The Hack. All right, now you're gonna learn how to use this theory to make your own version. And what you see on the screen right now is our version that we made earlier. So start by setting up two bars of 4-4 four, four with your grid set to 16th notes and your tempo set to 135 BPM. Skepta uses B flat Phrygian dominant, but we're using A because there's fewer flats, so it's easier for learning. Step one, the Skepta scale. First things first, let's talk about what Phrygian is. And that story begins with the Aeolian mode, aka the natural minor scale, which is what you get when you play all the white notes with A as your root note. In other words, your scale's home. Now, to turn the Aeolian mode into the Phrygian mode, all you do is move the second note, B, one semitone down to B flat. Then, to turn Phrygian into Phrygian dominant, all you do is move the third note, C, one semitone up to C sharp, which changes the scale from minor to major. And finally, throw in that naughty note that is not in Phrygian or Phrygian dominant, the G sharp. So here is the Skepta scale. And if you want to start it on B flat, like Skepta does in his track, then just select all the MIDI and move it one semitone up. Step two, bass line. Right, now that you know the Skepta scale, it's time to use those notes to write your bass line. So start by playing the root, A, for a quarter note, then complete the rest of your first bar with the notes A, C sharp, and G, which outlines an A dominant seventh chord. Then in your second bar, start by playing the flat 2, B flat, which creates that classic grime sound. Next, complete the rest of that bar with the notes G and B flat, which outlines a G minor chord, and then throw in that naughty G sharp somewhere towards the end. And lastly, for maximum groove, use plenty of rests and offbeats. 
All right, now let's have a listen to our super heavy bass line. But just before the final playthrough, if there's an artist you'd like us to hack, let us know in the comments below. Now it's time for that exciting announcement. So after countless emails from people requesting the MIDI files from these videos, we're super stoked to announce that we'll now be offering a lesson pack for every video. This will include a step-by-step -step PDF guide, a master WAV file of the final playthrough, and yes, a multi-track MIDI file. So if you want to explore the MIDI notes for all the instruments in this example, like the string arpeggios that you'll be hearing in a few seconds, then download the lesson pack from the link below. In the meantime though, keep watching to learn how to write a two-in-one bass line using a hack from another awesome London producer. That video is coming next, just click it when it pops up in a few seconds and we'll meet you there.